Hello, this is Gayla Drake Paul for PremierGuitar.com with a video review of the Fishman Loudbox. And this is the Artist series, uh, which is new from Fishman. They have ramped up the, uh, the watts. They, they've, it's 120 watts instead of 100. And they've put a, a nice little effects bank in here, which is uh, what makes it new and special and different. We have two identical channels. Uh, we have gain. We have low, mid, and high for an EQ section. We have an anti-feedback, which works really well. We um, also have a phase switch that you can, you can use here to, to help with your feedback. And then you have an effect level, so you can control how much uh, of the effects that you want. You have two different effect banks here. We have this uh, auxiliary level, and, and this is a very, very handy thing as well. I did a gig uh, with this amp. My friend Tommy Bruner and I um, put our vocal, two vocal mics in here. I ran my guitar channel through a, a preamp into the auxiliary in the back and presto changeo, three channel amp. And it's only a two channel amp. I really like that a lot. Here you got your master volume. Down here in this little section, you've got um, a, a channel mute. So I can turn that on and you don't hear anything until I turn it back off. This is really cool. You've got a tweeter level here, and um, you can you can dial back. I don't know how much of this you'll be able to hear, but you can dial back the tweeter by 6 dB or have it boosted so you get a much livelier sound. Uh, somewhere in the middle is good. Depending on the room, if you're getting feedback, it's kind of nice to be able to dial that back a little bit. You kind of take out some of the highs. Um, and then over here we have phantom power. You know I'm a fan of phantom power. The back panel is pretty standard. You've got uh, two DIs out and you also have a mix DI out. So when you want to run uh, into uh, a mixing board and you just want to take the whole thing, you want to be able to control your own sound, but you want to run it to a mixing board, you can take that out. We'll take you through some of the uh, effects. Um, with the reverb uh, in Effect bank, ba bank A, you have two different reverbs. You have uh, what they call Reverb 1 and Reverb 2, real descriptive. But if you can hear, um, Reverb 1 is a little darker and Reverb 2 is a little brighter. I know it's a very subtle difference, but uh, we'll, we'll play a little... That's a very rich reverb, um, and then reverb two. It just has a little more brilliance, a little more shimmer, a little more lively on the top. Neither one of them is a bad reverb. They both sound great. It just kind of depends on what room you're in, what you like, what the delay. You can go from, from that to that. So you've got all this different, these different effect uh, parameters that you can, you can control. Then the echo, same kind of a thing. You get, and I know it's a little confusing. I'm pushing in the, the switch on channel A to engage this down here. That's how it works. So you've got a nice chorus going on here. I've dialed it all the way down. So you hear just a little sweetening of chorus. We'll bring it up. You're a little more kind of a chorusy thing. Put it all the way. It kind of makes me seasick. I don't know, that's just me. Again, chorus one is a little warmer. Chorus two is the, got that brighter, shimmery, or kind of thing going on with it. I... And then we'll try chorus two. 
Here it's just got a little more of a bite. Chorus two is just a little, a little more bite to it, which is kind of nice. Then the flanger, I really like the flange. It's just really a cool sound. You can go all the way into, you know, Beatles on LSD kind of sound. With dial it back and just have a just that flavor of it much like the the Fishman pedals I, uh, I reviewed those a few years ago I think these are probably the same probably the same effects uh, are very similar to the same effects they don't impact your tone they're very very transparent that way now the other curious thing about the effect banks is that you only have one level control. Well, it's over here, sorry. You only have one level control. And so when you engage, you know, your, your chorus and your reverb together, you get the same amount of them uh, volume-wise. You get the same level of chorus and reverb. But you can dial back your time, you can dial back your depth or, or up or down so that you can control that a little more. So you'd have some control over it, but it is the same level of effect, whichever, you know, if, if you got them both engaged. I, I took this to a uh, sort of a medium to large size coffee house gig where everybody was quiet, everybody heard everything, and it sounded fantastic. I had a lot of people come up and say, this is a, you know, a beautiful sound. It almost sounds like you're on my CD player in my house. So I gave this amp a four. I really liked it a lot. Um, please do uh, check it, you know, continue to, to come back to premierguitar.com for, for this kind of information. Uh, this is a web exclusive for the month of December, and you can check it out online for free. Um, we look forward to uh, hearing your comments about it as well. Thanks so much. I'm Gayla Drake-Paul for PremierGuitar.com.